We begin with that breaking news. Arson is suspected in a deadly house fire in Temple City. Three people were found dead inside the home earlier this evening. Yeah, two others were injured. They're hospitalized tonight in critical condition. Let's go to Chris Wolf. He's live in Temple City. He's got the latest on this. Chris? That's right, Rick and B, what a night this has been. Still a very active scene here on Sultana Avenue in Temple City where that deadly house fire or what appears to be a deadly house fire took place earlier this evening. Take a look behind me, a lot of activity here, flashing lights, authorities all over the place and an expanding scene with all of this yellow tape. Firefighters are here. Arson investigators are here. Sheriff's homicide detectives are here. And they believe this is a case of arson and murder. And tell me, a 64-year-old Asian man has been detained for questioning at this hour. What happened? How did it happen? And how did a house fire in broad daylight turn deadly with victims apparently unable to escape the inferno. Flames erupted in a home along Sultana Avenue in Temple City Sunday, shortly before 5 p.m. We have learned that foul play is suspected in what may be a case of arson and murder. Three people are dead, two others critically injured with severe burns. When uh, LA County Fire arrived, they extinguished the fire inside the front residence. Um, once inside, they found that there were three additional uh, male adults uh, deceased inside. Uh, during the investigation, or shortly about an hour after, uh, an individual uh, arrived on scene, spoke to the deputies, and uh, uh, he's a Mandarin speaker, so there's been some um, language barrier. And uh, right now, he's a person of interest of the person who ignited the fire inside the residence. I just heard yelling, like long yelling. It sounded really frantic. Um, I heard fear in the voices. And so then I ran out to see what was going on. It was a bit muffled. I couldn't tell. And then I just saw a fire, like the full house inside was like fully on fire, flames coming out of the windows. I called 911. Um, and then I just saw, yeah, like two elderly men come out and one, one stayed on the ground on the side because he had like blood coming out of his head he was just you know out of it and the other one um I just yeah I saw like skin peeling and he was also just in a really distraught state back here live on scene of this apparent deadly house fire this is a heavily Asian community and we're told the victims are Asian men you heard the detective say in the story there is a language barrier. As soon as sheriff's investigators can get a Mandarin translator into the interrogation room, then they will continue questioning their person of interest. Again, a 64-year-old man who apparently lived in that same house. We will continue to follow this breaking story and bring you much more coming up at 11. For now, reporting live in Temple City, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.